Here. Gar, Gar Ryan has the batting stance guy. Gar, is he here? Gar, come on, come out on here. over here, buddy. Can you come on over here. He, he cheered us up and he helped us. Ha he helped us stay. This happy. is Gar Ryan has the batting stance guy. If you don't know who he is, at uh, batting stance G. Yeah. What's happening? Yes, We're rocking the Montreal. Who is that? Vladimir have Guerrero. A have a seat. Have who a do seat. You like? Yeah, have a seat. Who do you like to consider yourself? Vladimir Guerrero in that instance? This or? is this is all. This is Jose Vidro era. Jose, Jose Vidro, Vidro era. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Nice, nice. Mark Langston. There's a Fleur de Lis on your shirt. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, but you cheered us up, and you are like. I mean, you're a huge. Huge San Francisco huge Giants Xbox. fan. Huge <laughs> Xbox fan. So it makes sense you're wearing that. But one thing that you do, if people don't know what you do, is you can do anybody's batting stance ever. Yeah, it's of the all least time. marketable skill in America, and you two happen to like it. So uh, no, it, it's the thing that kept us happy after this. We're like, just please do Yadier Molina. If you can just do, do your, Yadier Molina's just, neck. There's his face. Just, <laughs> just do his. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing like in that bolt instance? Tattoo yeah, there. It's, just, <laughs> it's like he was cobbled together <laughs> in a. <st> <laughs> In a lab somewhere, <laughs> Yadi related. By the way, someone walking to work was like, "Is that Yadi?" Yeah, <laughs> someone so I just saw Yadi walking over there. behind us. Uh, did you? You had the best time ever. I mean, it, it was the reverse thing for you because we drove up. Then you had like the greatest time ever. So the last San Francisco Giants home playoff game I went to was the earthquake game. I want to talk about that. Which we're was twenty-five years ago. We're going to talk about it. twenty-five years ago today. We'll talk about that that in the next segment, guys. Should we take a? Should we take a break? Or are we? Yeah, you know, we'll take. All right, we're going to take a break. It. Let's do it. Let, let's, can you do one batting stance? I want you to do Chris, uh, not Chris Carpenter, do uh, Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. Oh, Matt Carpenter Matt as Carpenter. we go into the break. Yeah, don't, don't watch his game on TiVo later no, tonight. Yeah, so he, he's working like the elliptical machine. What's that workout the, thing yeah, where you press back? At the YMCA yeah. where you're so like, he, it's not for he, your abs and for yeah, your so back. He goes, he goes back and then licks his lips. So it's kind of like people from West Virginia working out at the Y. <laughs> dipping. <laughs> dipping at the same time. And then he lets it go. All right, more All with Gar right Ryan, Ryan S. The back is guy right after this. <laughs> Sklar Brothers on the Rich Eisen Show. Thank you. Gar Ryan asked the batting stance guy, battingstanceguy.com. At batting stance G. At batting stance G on Twitter. Uh, last game you went to, a uh, playoff game you went to in San Francisco was the earthquake game 25 years ago to this day. Correct. To Just this describe day. what that was like, because you talked about it on our podcast, Scalabro Country, which is coming out uh, tomorrow, today, actually. Today, it's out. But talk so, about it. In the upper deck, um, and and Oakland had a different reputation back then right. than San Francisco. So Oakland was a was a very easy way to go to a game. Conseco, it was a lot you of just like hop on corporate bark. sponsor. Yeah, it drops you off in center field. So very right. <laughs> corporate sponsorship. People yes. dress too nice. San Francisco to go to Candlestick, you had to kind of look like Willie Nelson, not smell good. There was no way in. There was a Sherpa that took you <laughs> up to <laughs> Candlestick. You literally got handed a prize if you stayed for an extra inning game. Because what was the prize? Croy to Candlestick, this orange button right. that you put in your head. So you'd see some old grizzled veteran that has 26 on it. You knew he's like, wow, this is a diehard fan. Because it's so cold. What was Mark Twain's quote about? The, 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 the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. There you go. And All that's right. probably a candlestick park is what he was referring yeah, to. Yeah, so I had been talking up how different a scene it was in San Francisco than Oakland. So Oakland, I'm from the Bay Area, and so in high school, so we went to the first two games in Oakland for the World Series. And then, of course, it was kind of boring. And then we went to San Francisco, and I step up there, and I look, and it's like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. And so then it starts to kind of shake, and it's like, this is exactly <laughs> what told I'm talking about. I told you guys it's crazy in San Francisco. You, and then it like really starts rocking. I'm like, this is exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. I haven't drank anything. And then I had to hold on to the Wait, railing. No, tell about the guy okay, that so you there's, saw. A, there's a guy in a green jacket. I'm in the upper deck kind of toward the first baseline. And then there's a guy down the third baseline that I see in a green jacket. And then I don't see him. And then I see him. And so the upper deck is going over is going and back. over and back, and I'm losing him. And so then, and then I see the light standards swaying back way, way, way too much, maybe 10 feet going back and forth. Jeez. And then I see the third baseline basically roll, like a rat going under a carpet. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. And it's then funny, I How think, many times have you seen a rat go under a carpet? <laughs> I mean, it's I it's a reference time. I make because of just You've seen it seeing so many it. times. Right. And then that There's, cop car yeah. goes on the field. And, and I, you see a cop car on the field, you're like, OK, something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong. Or they're filming uh, Naked Gun. I think there was yeah, exactly. a, there was an infielder a that got hit, got by, a car. hit by a car. Right. Um, so it never dawned on me that we weren't going to play the game, because at that point, people hadn't circled around their little Sony Watchman TVs to right. watch. Yeah. What 
obviously was the bridge had collapsed and the 880 structure had yeah. collapsed. I mean, it was, it normally took us about 45 minutes to get home and it took us seven hours. That seven night. hours. Well, you, I mean, again, your love of the game from then until now, it's like, again, we think that what you do is probably one of the highest level of sports impressionism to date. And so we're going to ask you, like we always do, we're like even at a party or we're hanging out with you, we're like, Dan you are like, You're a human jukebox for us. Uh, we should talk about some of the players who are advancing still in left in your, especially on your Giants. So if you would be so kind as to give hop us up, a little hop Hunter up Pence. and give us a little. What to look for? Hunter yeah, Pence. what to look for, exactly. Yeah, when you're looking at Hunter, Hunter Pence, because he definitely has an unorthodox style of hitting. So, <laughs> right, Hunter, so Hunter Pence sort of looks like a manatee, so his eyes go both sides. He kind of looks like the weirdest character that Matthew McConaughey has not played yet. <laughs> in, his right, most, right? In, his, in his most challenging role yet. Well, let's yeah, play, so, should we play, play the clip, clip first? All right, so we're playing a clip first. All right, let's watch this, and then we'll see, and then we'll laugh. So you want to look at his face. He's not totally comfortable with his own smile. Right. Uh -huh. And then he has... Or his facial no, hair. Wait, okay, okay here so is. here you go. Go for it, go so, for it. So, so then so no he's... no uh, batting glove on his top hand, uh -huh. and then too many muscles yeah. for the body, and then, <laughs> and then a little spastic, and then, <laughs> and then after he hits it, he goes. <laughs> it's so true. It was so great. It's so true. At the game this past Tuesday with you, yeah, yeah. at the game, we Pop, were, you discussed Pablo. You described for <laughs> okay. somebody as right before Pablo Sandoval did what he did in the batter's box. <laughs> His pre-hitting ritual is, is it more involved than Yasiel Puig? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, is it more involved than refinancing your house? <laughs> it's, <laughs> not as, it's not as involved as that. Okay, wait, we so, have some Pablo. Let's let's see what we can do. We have a little Pablo I mean, tape. Let's talk it through. So he's known as Kung Fu Panda. Uh -huh. Yeah. And part of that is certainly the coloring of the jersey and yes. then the no neck. Yeah, no neck. And so what pa Pablo, what? What he does, which that didn't show. That didn't even yeah, show. So, so, so for that moment, even, he so, does what? All, so all video misses what he does. So what Pablo does, and by the way, if you go to a World Series game, tell your girlfriend, tell your friend, watch what number 48 does. So he'll make a little um, cross little cross in before he gets in the box. Then he'll get in the box, and I'm not kidding. Yeah. He'll run out into the field. Mm -hmm. He'll kick the bat four times. <laughs> he'll hit his head twice. <laughs> then he'll wipe off the dust. From his head. From he'll, his head. He'll go back in the box. Then he'll step out. Make another cross. Make another cross. <laughs> then do a little something. <laughs> it's unbelievable that. How do they allow this? I, well, how, no, I say, how do they miss this? Yeah, right. exactly. This be, Who's not This should this? be so celebrated. He and does the he same in. thing every time. Yeah. And yeah. it's in the playing field. That's right. right. It's out of the box. It's out of the box. Literally out of the box. Literally. Thinking, it's out so of then the he gets in the box. And then what's, what's his stance? He gets in. So, what's in the box? So then, he, like, like you just saw right there, he, he gets to be very comfortable, and then he always, pretty much always takes the first pitch and watches it all the way in. So the pitch will come in and he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> well, but the best person, to, <laughs> the best person to watch a pitch in is Buster Posey, who's still in. Buster, Buster Posey, Posey because you said the slow mo facial reaction. So yeah, so Buster Posey's from the south, and so he's polite, and so he'll do the little <laughs> Derek Jeter mm -hmm. wipe yeah. off my brow, uh -huh. and then get a face like he's just had something kind of sour. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then if he doesn't like the call, he's too polite to go and yell, yell at the guy. So what does he do? So his tell is that he turns into slow motion if he doesn't like the call. So it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nerves, y'all. I mean, come on. Uh, right, last one I want you to do, because we have a minute left, but last one I want you to do is Moises Alou and the difference of where you sit on the field. Okay. 50 okay. seconds. Give All right, it to so, us. so Moises Alou, if you, you've, you've watched him for years. The Chris's have watched him for years. Yes. Right. He right, just kind of kinda stands like this, and it's not interesting. So right. if you're at a game, it looks like he got there about two hours late, so he grabbed like a boys' medium <laughs> jersey. And, and he his took a hat there. from like one of the ice creams. Yeah. And just literally put has, it on top has of his a head. bat that's too small, so he puts two fingers <laughs> off the bat, and then he winds up backwards like he doesn't know what to do. Uh -huh. And then I've had my wife's friends have asked me, "What is Moses Alou doing?" So he winds up sideways, and if we right. can go back, go back a little, further, and get his knees, get his legs. Like yeah, any yeah. really strong, cool, tough guy, he ends up standing like this. <laughs> Looks <laughs> <laughs> uh, different. There he By is. By the way, one, hey, one not to not miss quickly is, yes. is Michael Morse. When okay. he does this little stretch, when he gets up, he basically gets up in the box, and before he gets in the box, he sits up and he does this Heisman pose. Hello. Whoa, he goes like computer. this. 
So watch for that. <laughs> he does this Heisman pose. Watch when he bats. I love it. Gar Ryan Ness, the Batty Stance Guy, at Batty Stance G, BattyStanceGuy.com. You got to love it right there. Thanks we'll be back. Here. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's do Dykstra. Do Dykstra. Do Dykstra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dykstra. Let me Dykstra. Let me... And what am I doing it for? There? Right here. Uh, just do, yeah, it. Just do go. it for this just one. Go. Yeah. Just go. Just do it. All right, now who is it? We're doing Mets or Phillies. Dykstra. You, you let's tell let's me. go Mets first, then Phillies. Okay, so Mets is. Phillies <laughs> 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 is. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes. How about, how about Ricky? Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. <laughs> he does a little pause yeah, after, yeah, he, hit down. The, after yeah. he hit the. <laughs> <laughs> His ability to go ambidextrous is pretty impressive. Yeah, like, okay. your swing, he looks What about Rod Carew? Rod Carew is one of my favorites. All right, so Rod Carew often would look like he would fall asleep in between the first and second pitch, so he would just stay in the box. <laughs> 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 Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Bagwell. Jeff, Jeff, Bagwell. Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell sits on an invisible chair, <laughs> and then he's a part of a club of about ten people that would take twenty to thirty steps getting out of the box. <laughs> Jim Leyritz, Jim Leyritz, Miguel Cabrera. Uh, so I, so I, mean, I love that. One of, your, one of your first videos w before you blew up was like Euclid, and then Euclid yeah. striking out. Yeah, those were my awesome. favorite. Those yeah, were my yeah, favorites. Yeah, yeah, so Euclid. He's probably one of the most requested ones. Has like a do. ferret on his chin yep. and does similar things to Julio Franco. Yeah, exactly. Like, but why not just hold the bat halfway <laughs> between the. <laughs> Shaking it in. And then striking out. And then striking out. <laughs> <laughs> what about. Yeah, yeah. I Crook, mean, Crook had one too. Are you Crook, one, yeah, right? you did it. Crook was also. All of <laughs> no neck. <laughs> and then he would, the pitch would go over his head in the all star game. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.